Hi, my name is Chris Frey, and this is joint work with Ted Steiner at Draper and John Howe at MIT. Our paper is titled, Collision Probabilities for Continuous Time Systems Without Sampling, and the context of the problem we're considering is risk-aware trajectory optimization. Consider a stochastic motion planning problem in which we minimize some cost functional in expectation under a safety constraint that the total probability of failure must lie below some risk tolerance. Here, failure refers to the event that the state leaves some predetermined safe set X safe at any point during execution. This formulation is quite general, applying to obstacle avoidance or any other state constraint, and it's a natural way to encode safety for noisy or partially observable autonomous systems. However, computing this probability can be challenging, even if we can predict the state distribution at any particular instant. This challenge, particularly in the case of continuous time systems, constitutes the focus of our paper. So taking a step back, there are two main families of approaches to the problems of risk evaluation and optimization. The most classic are Monte Carlo or sampling-based methods, where we simulate trajectories and count failures. These techniques are accurate and widely applicable for evaluation, but computational concerns along with non-smoothness and other technical issues preclude embedding within most continuous optimization frameworks. In order to avoid these issues, a number of what I'll call direct methods have been proposed. These methods attempt to compute or upper bound the failure probability as an explicit and smooth function of the underlying trajectory. A common approach assumes discrete time dynamics and applies Boole's inequality to essentially sum the instantaneous violation probability at each time step. This is convenient for optimization, but is not very accurate. In particular, if we're dealing with an originally continuous time system, the result will be sensitive to the choice of time discretization. Consider what happens as we refine this discretization. More time steps are added, and therefore more violation probability will be accumulated. Rather than becoming more accurate, the res ensuing risk estimate will diverge to infinity. For this reason, existing direct methods based on Boole's inequality are often severely conservative in practice. To address this issue of accuracy while maintaining the benefits of a direct method, we take a fresh look at the evolution of risk directly in continuous time. Letting the function f of t correspond to the risk so far, we show that for any time partition of the overall planning horizon, the total risk can be written essentially as a sum over the probability of new collisions in each interval. In order to compute this function phi, we can leverage a piecewise constant approximation of the underlying process that is analogous to Euler integration of ODEs. Like Euler's method, the resulting approximation converges to the true risk as the partition is refined. However, you'll notice here that this function phi depends on a distribution pi, which we refer to as the anthropic distribution. Pi is related to the familiar state distribution, but is conditioned on safety thus far. Unfortunately, this conditioning is intractable to compute and propagate, and explicit approximations proposed in the literature result in inconsistency. To avoid all this, we identify a tight upper bound that depends only on the unconditioned distribution B. Though relatively simple, this upper bound provides surprisingly good approximation in practice. In our experiments, we simulate a partially observable Dubbins car, executing risk-constrained motion plans from a given initial distribution to a goal position indicated in green. Sample executions and corresponding uncertainty representations are shown in the upper diagrams and the estimated risk is plotted below as an increasing function of time. Note that the discrete time estimates indicated with the dashed lines tend to severely over-approximate the Monte Carlo estimate shown in red. Moreover, methods reliant on a Gaussian anthropic belief approximation shown in yellow tend to suffer from inconsistency. In contrast, our proposed method, interval safe, is shown as a solid blue line and matches the Monte Carlo estimate well. When it does deviate, it tends to do so on the side of over-approximation, which is desirable from a safety perspective. We have more results in the paper, but in summary, our contributions here are threefold. First, we derive a novel framework for the evolution of risk directly in continuous time, allowing risk to be integrated over time in a principled way. Secondly, we propose a lightweight upper bound that avoids explicit approximation of the anthropic belief, along with all of its associated challenges. Finally, Numeric validation of our method demonstrates significant improvement over state-of-the-art direct methods, and unlike Monte Carlo, our technique is well suited to continuous optimization. This ultimately facilitates robust and efficient risk-aware trajectory optimization for a large class of dynamic systems. Please check out the paper for more details and results. Thank you.